Hi guys, so today I'm going to give you a little look into my studio. I'm going to be um, just sharing today this section with my albums and I'm going to be um, talking a little bit about each one and some of these I made myself but some of these I have actually received from Happy Mail. So let's go ahead and take a look. one that you see here is actually a shadow box slash mini album and it's quite large and I wanted to do this as like a haunted house it's probably my favorite book I've made because it is so dynamic all little pieces inside I made myself I did a room a library room a haunted room a witch room it was just super fun to make the front part that you see in there is one of those Tim Holtz shadow boxes um, that was sold probably two years ago and I went ahead and painted it gray because it's originally green and I didn't really like the green color so I used the front as the um, shadow box and then I drew myself the two back pieces which are some of the pages to give it that depth and to make it look like a haunted house and it all sits on this little base here which is a wooden piece from michael's that i went ahead and covered with some of my design paper and so yeah it was really really fun to do this book and it's actually a pop-up book as well so definitely one of my favorites these two ones are really special to me this one is probably my first one of my first albums that I've ever made and I made this one together with my girls we all uh, work on this together back when I uh, first started my channel and it was just really fun to make I was discovering some new techniques and so maybe you can open it and you can see it has a lot of charms and pockets it's made out of envelopes only. So. Uh, back here we have this Julie netting doll and she's just so pretty. I love playing with my Prima dolls and I made this little witch and then on the side I have some charms and I'm also using the Julie netting, uh, Julie netting paper coloring paper collection as well with all of these um, dolls which is so fun super fun to to play so with down here this monster book was made by my dear friend robin pitt she is amazing again at what she does she does all these kind of different files um, and shapes and so yeah so this is one that she did a long time ago and she sent it to me on happy mail uh, to uh, for my girls and my girls really love playing with this book and touching all these little textures and um, little things that they can put in and out like those little tombstones come out and it's just so cute super fun uh, little book so let me move it so i can show you what is on the back isn't that scary <laughs> So I have that one in the back because it's really scary. And so I made this book and this is actually using one of those images from Dollar Tree that changes faces. And it depends from which angle you look at it. It can be really, really creepy. So I wanted to make this into like a Victorian uh, book. As you can tell, I'm really into Victorian Halloween um, projects. Those are probably my my most favorite to do because they're so scary but at the same time they are very very scary so over here i'm using one of those collections from michael's and um, they come came out last year this book is from last year i believe so yeah so this was a fun one to do and it has a lot of black lines on it so again no pictures of this book um i'm gonna be honest i gotta get on my game putting pictures on these books because to me it's really fun and easy to do the book but it's really time consuming to find the pictures to put in your books this over here is actually an explosion box and it's so cute look at these little figurines that i found on michael's on the miniature section i have the two little children asking for candy and i drew the door and then when this opens up the sides here actually have like pockets and rooms for pictures but for the most part it's just like a decoration piece 
um, and up here there's the witch so she's the witch on her house and the kids are asking for candy and they have no idea what where they got themselves into but i thought it was super super fun to make i do have a tutorial on this box on my halloween series last so here i have a couple more halloween halloween is also my one of my favorite things to to design for because it's just so fun all the things that you could do this book was actually made on my loaded mini album swap i believe this was from my dear friend melinda from the ephemera studio and um it's just gorgeous look at all the detail that she put in here and it has these little clips that are actually hands and it's just so 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 fun and then i still load it as she sent it to me i haven't taken everything out because i just love how it looks so chunky and full it's just so fun to have um over here this is one that i did again uh, i love this collection with the I think it was like a day of the dead and this i got at michael's and then i found all kinds of colorful flowers to make it look like the day of the dead because the collection is very very happy and colorful so it was really really fun to do i have all kinds of colors here on the pockets of the side pages as well and look at this fun little tassel that i made i need to make more tassels i haven't done um, any on a while back there this is the happy mail book that i created as a tutorial on my series as well because i had this idea of creating a loaded mini album it has all of these different elements that they can take out and you know just you so i do have a tutorial on this and i've been wanting to do a swap ever since i created this i wanted to do a swap uh, with this thing, but I never actually got to do this yet. So maybe that's something that I can set up and put together. So I'm just gonna put this ones back, and I think that's it for how down the line here. I have this fairy book mini album. This one had more flowers on the tree. I think they just fell out. Um, but I did this tree by hand using some glue and paint and just making it look like an actual tree. Then I have this door from the Michaels section. And I did this a few years ago actually. And this was for my daughter's birthday. And I love it. I wanted this to look like a fairy garden. And each page looks like... Uh, like a little uh, book in a way like a you know like a fairy garden book but when you open the pages we do see the hidden pictures in there so this album actually does have picture um, this one right here is my favorite i made these little fairy houses they're just so cute and in there there's all the pictures So now let's move on to this side over here. This little woman I did because of the three little three girls and, and the mom. Actually, there's four girls, so what am I talking about? But anyway, so I wanted to do it and put pictures of my girls growing up. Uh, this Neverland, of course, it has to be my favorite because it took a lot of my creativity. I constantly refer to this book to get inspiration for other books as well. So over here we have a book, a fairy book that was uh, from my dear friend Julia Siveras. She did this one as uh, in one of our swaps and I really, really love it. This over here, this little one was made for, uh, was made to me with a swap with uh, my dear friend Debbie. It's so cute. We wanted to do something small and chunky. So it's almost like a little square, like a little cube. It's full of little details. Um, the next one here was also a swab. Look at this amazing vintage book. This is using the Prima Lavender collection. And this swab was with my friend Dominic. Um, this one over here is one that I purchased from Michelle. And she uh, did this with this amazing paper collection that has been retired forever. And one time she had a sale of her album. This one is one of my most recent ones that I shared with you guys. I did a full tutorial using the Little Birdie Crafts paper collection 
now this collection got completely sold out because i mean who wouldn't want to play with these and i'm so excited i was so excited to discover this uh paper line because i am in love with all of their all of their designs so a beautiful book also has a little journal in there as well uh, and then on the back this is my prima what is this one called Mm, I don't remember the name, but it was a, again a beautiful antique Prima paper collection by Frank Garcia. This over here it, it was, it's definitely the easiest book I've ever made and it's so fun and so vintage. So I don't know what to say, but it is like full of texture and fabric. All the pages in this book are pop up pages and everything has been distressed, but I mean the page construction was the easiest and i do have a different binding system for this one as well and that is also a tutorial on my channel so back there it's another swap and this one was sent to me by my friend elizabeth and it is so pretty So now we move on to this section here. I have a little Mother's Day card that I created last year. I love making picture cards because you can see how they change, how the kids change. And I did like three of these. I sent one for my grandma, one for my mom, and I kept one for myself. And this is using one of those beautiful Mintai paper collections. Uh, back here we have another album that I did a tutorial for. Most of these albums I have tutorials for and that sentiment that La Vida is Bella was uh, purchased in Peru on one of my trips and I knew right away I had to use it on the cover of an album. Um, this one over here is my recent Little Princess book and I created this for my as a design team project but of course thinking of my daughter so I put three little bunnies in there and I have it's like a trifold and it has three sections so I wanted to put pictures on this one as well actually for this one I already selected the pictures that I'm going to put so hopefully <laughs> I'll get to that soon um, so over here one of my projects that I did I did this one actually for my mom so this is um, her book so this is a newer project that I did this is actually a folio um, that I created using again Little Birdies Crafts um, collection. It's just beautiful, amazing flowers and papers. Love the nature look to this. I do have a tutorial and a reading tutorial on my website for this as well. And back there, who does not love Prima papers? Look how gorgeous that one is and again you can find that one tutorial on my tutorial list so moving on to this section i have the puppy love <laughs> album and this one it is absolutely adorable it's a heartful creations um line and or paper designs and it's completely retired out of stock sold out i don't know what to say but it is just beautiful. I wish I can find it again because I absolutely love it. And so I've been requested to sell this album so many times, but I just can't see myself doing that because this little dog on the front looks just like my little puppy and I definitely need to put his pictures in there. Over here, this is one that I recently did for my daughter as she turned 13. It's a little pop-up book. Back there, it is a project that I did myself last year for Mother's Day. So this one does have pictures on it. here here's the prima saint tropez and this one does have pictures of my trip to peru on the summer a couple of years ago it's a large large book full full of pictures and fun memories of i think everything was 
mostly the beach, the sun, the food. <laughs> um, over here we have my Easter book that I recently shared with you. This is another one of those loaded mini albums that I did. Um, I did this one when I was hosting a swap and I did this as an example but it's the same as that um, loaded book right there so that one was Halloween and this one was a Christmas swap and over here this is a book that I did for my daughter for her birthday last year so now on this side we have our Disney albums this is the first album I've ever made it took me like three months to do and it has no pictures because I put so many elements onto this album that it is absolutely heavy <laughs> so heavy that uh, you know I completely over design look at one page right there I mean it is super fun but adding pictures will just make this book completely fall apart right now it's still standing it's not falling apart this book was sent to me again by my friend um, Julia Sivera super super sweet I love how she makes her charms she makes the most amazing chunky charms and it's a fun little book this over here I made for my daughter Emma when she turned nine, we went to Disney. So it does have pictures on it. It just doesn't have the picture on the front because I did not have anything small. I needed to resize a picture. And then this is an autograph, autograph <laughs> book that um, my daughters did. Actually, this was done by Emma and they each had one, but they have them in the room and it was signed by some of the characters so this was a fun little book to do it just doesn't have pictures it only has signatures because all the pictures are in the book but yeah and so that goes right there down here we have another frozen or disney book and again this one does have pictures on it this is my daughter's book. so usually when i do an album um you don't see the pictures it's like a storybook until you open the pages and then you see the pictures in there. So that's how I like to, to do. At least that's how I liked doing it before. Now I kind of like the pictures being a little bit more the center of attention. But this book has all kinds of blink and laces and sparkles and glitter. It just has it all. This over here is another one of my girl's birthday books with this little mermaid from um, La La Lands. And that's my um, Irish mini album. My girls are half Irish. So they, yeah, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day. It's a big on our family. So up on the front, I have some Christmas albums. The 2019 one on the center is uh, my December daily for last year. It's complete, it's done. It's just such a wonderful feeling when you get it done in time. Um, this over here is my Santa Baby mini album. I do have a tutorial on that. It was just so fun to do. I did that for a hop. Oh, there's an album behind it. Behind there is, oh, that's a sweet little book that I created using the Teresa Collins Baby Chic Collection. And I did that one for my daughter, Ariel. Um, it doesn't have pictures here, of course. Uh, over here, this is a book that was made to me by my dear friend, Anna. So thank you so much, Anna. She made this beautiful sister's book. And it's just so adorable inside. It has acetate pages she just did amazing it is a beautiful acetate book so over here i have my sweets mini album this one was a bow bunny paper collection which i love i love everything bow bunny too and so these are some prima flowers i did this one for my daughter's for tessie's birthday so it's just 
all about sweets and cake and candy it's just really 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 pretty this over here is my recent journal that i made using jane's memoirs my my dear friend jen bishop it's a blue fern paper collection that she designed for and i'm so happy to get my hands on because it's so hard to get it's absolutely sold out everywhere i do have a tutorial on how i made this this um this journal this journal is actually going to go in my room because i want to use it right away i love how the spine looks like so i just put it here for now but i actually have all my journals on a different area of my room over here i have that christmas album using the stamperia pink everything that's pink christmas i have to have this is another christmas pink collection this is the carousel by Bo bunny it is so beautiful. I was starting to play around with some mixed media when I did this book. This one I had for probably about two years now. I've only been crafting for three years, so I've been experimenting quite a lot this, this past three years. Um, but I love the collection. I did a lot of mixed media. I have laces and, you know, trims and bows and all of these uh, little things we like adding into our books uh, and then on the back i have an album that was sent to me by my dear friend um, kim long we did a swap and she sent me the mini album and also a box now over here on this section so beautiful all about nature and this is absolutely beautiful and look at this on the inside look at the little doggy that doggy looks like my aunt's dog that by the time i was designing this book the doggy had just passed like on that same week so it was really hard to look at at the paper but he was about 15 years old so um so yeah so sweet little benji and so over here this is how this book looks like a lot of distress on this paper because i wanted this to look really really vintage and on the back i have another christmas book this is again one of my first christmas albums that i've made i'm not quite happy with this one i just something about it that i didn't like i love the paper collection because back then my girls were um, doing a lot of ice skating lessons and the paper has a lot of ice skating elements so I loved it but I just for example I don't really like these top pieces and these are all you know things that I can take out because um, these are just from the page inserts so I didn't like these after a while so I can take those out and modify so it was my idea to modify the book because I still love it the collection I just don't like some things and this is the one that I just recently finished the tutorial i share this with you guys and it's for sale on my website although i really really love it so if it doesn't sell i'll definitely uh put pictures on these as well back here is my double folio album which is huge i love it let me show you why i love it it's a stamperia paper collection and it's called azulejos it has my name. Do you see my name right there on the paper? So I have to keep it. That is, that is mine to keep for my pictures of myself. <laughs> and over here, this is uh, something that I did out of the, you know, just cleaning my room and finding scrap pieces of paper. And I said, you know, let's make something cute and tiny. And I did a tutorial on some happy mail ideas on how to do like... A one page book so this is a 1 12 by 12 page and i love it so much it's gonna stay here so cute so over here i have two huge albums this was again some swaps this was made by christy my dear friend christy she has um of course her her youtube channel amazing tutorials she's just incredible she's also peruvian so i when i first started uh, my youtube channel she already has her channel really well established and she commented on one of my videos that 
she heard that I was Peruvian and she was also from Peru and she offered me to do a swap and I almost fell out of my chair like I'm telling you because she has always been such an inspiration and someone that I look up to and I didn't even know she was from Peru so we have that in common so she's my crafty Peruvian sister <laughs> and back here okay so this is a very very large album it's beautiful and back there we have another beautiful album this was made by my dear friend sandy and angel now sandy made this with a full tutorial and then she also had a giveaway and i won her giveaway so so excited because i just love sandy has this amazing eye for shabby chic and it's just full of detail full of die cuts and gold pieces as you can see it is just incredible i do have videos for all of these but if you guys like me to show you one more on detail i'll definitely do a video for you this is a bow bunny christmas pink christmas album i did two albums of these the first time that i did this album somebody wanted a tutorial so i went ahead and did the exact same album again so then the second one i sent to my best friend that lives in new york she's been my best friend since we're like eight years old maybe five years old and so now we have twin albums so definitely never getting rid of this one uh, over here this is one that i did for my daughter no pictures of course and ah, uh, and when i made this album it was actually the first time that i designed my own paper um papers because a lot of these paper here I did myself. This album right here is another Pink Christmas by Heartful Creations, beautiful book. Over here I have my Alice in Wonderland little collection. This one is <laughs> out of place. So as you know, I love dynamic, interactive, and my Alice in Wonderland are definitely my favorite books because I just play with so many elements they're all different. This one has very interactive pages. There's a tutorial on that. This one over here is a pop-up book. And this is one of my first books that I ever made. This little tiny guy I did recently using my chipboard scrap pieces. I have a tutorial on that. Down here, I'm just gonna go really quick. Um, I did a tutorial on that album. This is an easel album. It stands up like that. Back then, uh, back there is happy mail books that have been sent to me this is one that i did this is a calendar for 2018 i actually did fill it out one picture per month and back there another happy mail book here's another happy mail book back there's a book that tessie did <laughs> so cute it has her pictures on it too and these are books my girls have made mostly we are on this section up on the top i have some journals the pink one i did myself using some um, cushiony material i love that one and then this one was sent to me by uh, my friend anna corona she also has a youtube channel that's amazing journals down here it is my first scenting project for chao bella and i did this little circus mini album it's a very interactive book it actually uh, it's very dimensional it stands like a like a circus stand this over here is a previous child bella that i and did it has all kinds of interaction i mean i just love making interactive books that's kind of like that's definitely my thing like when you pull this down and you open this this girl actually spins not fun so i love making things like that making books and that made me think um over there there's my christmas album celebrating 10 years this book has 10 years of memories year by year
here more Alice in Wonderland interactive 3D books um, another Christmas album I kind of put them like this by size this one is full of pictures too um, so I'm excited that some of these have pictures and back there is my daughter's school book let's see yeah so it does actually have pictures it's from 1 to 5th grade i think no from kindergarten up, up until fifth grade so i think i stopped at fourth grade so i need to get back to that here i have my little folios and another book that was sent to me by this is a swap and i believe this was from julia as well this is my summer book for last year when we went to mexico and more little folios some of these have this one has pictures of one of my daughter's birthdays and this over here another interactive folio this is a pop-up 3d folio this folio over here was sent to me by one of my dear friends and she knows how much i love paris and i hope to one day go there for my birthday i've never been there so she made me this very special folio when she went to paris and i promise i will put my my birthday paris pictures on this folio. and down here i have my tango mini album this is actually an outer dollar store book mini album i need to do the final walkthrough of that because i never actually did it i do have a tutorial on that and back there is a backpack that was made for me by julia also which is look at this so beautiful i've never made one of these a little embellishment book inside it's just so pretty so i don't I, I like to keep it you know i don't like to take things apart and then i lose them i like to keep them like like they are so that is it that is the tour of my books i hope that you guys enjoy this video and i hope that you found um, some type of inspiration on any of these i want to thank you so much for watching i want to wish all of the mothers out there a happy mother's day today and i hope that your day is sweet and i hope you guys are having fun and enjoy crafting being at home and yeah i'll see you on the next video bye bye